All right, I'm going to be replacing two rear shocks on a 2008 HHR. We're going to be taking the old ones out and putting in the Monroe OE Spectrum rear shock. The reason we're replacing the shocks is due to over bounciness in the back of the vehicle when it's going over bumps. We're going to start with taking off. Right now I have it lifted under the rear axle area to start removing the shocks. Then I'll go along and take off one wheel at a time. We're going to start with a 19 millimeter socket. I like to just use a deep well. I have my half inch impact drive. I'll start with removing the hub cap, which is just basically taking the little plastic caps off. They stay stuck in the hub cap so they don't actually get removed. Put that on the side there. That's not coming off. So I have a soft blow sand hammer that's going to not bend the rim when I smash it. The northern states have a lot of salt and corrosion like I say in my last video. So be prepared to have some tools to get these things off with. It's not just replacing some parts. Next step shows the, uh, the shock there. Alright, I'm going to start with taking off the uh, upper bolt that holds the top of the shock in. 18 millimeter socket, half inch swivel usually is what I use. Just unbolts out. The bottom is going to be a 21 millimeter socket. I use just a short, same swivel extension. without a torch so I'm gonna get some heat okay so I'm having to use a torch to get the bottom bolt out there's a nut on the inside but it also might get stuck inside of the bushing on the lower shock mount kind of typical to happen be real careful torching I always use a plate or something underneath just to catch some of the Droppings from the rubber and be careful because it's all open on the inside where there's brake lines. Let's see if that little bit helped. So after Torching the lower bottom area off. It seemed like it started to loosen. I'm going to uh, see if I can spin this bottom bolt out. I think we're going to use a little more heat. Alright, and the bolt is actually stuck in the lower part of the shock area. I'll have to figure out a way to press that bolt out or torch something and use run a new bolt through. These bolts are specific to these vehicles though. Anyway, that's removal. 
Not really. All right, so back to the install on the rear shocks of this 2008 HHR. Front bolt came out really nice. Lower bottom bolt, not so nice. Um, we had to torch it out of its sleeve. Took a little longer than normal, but doesn't surprise me. Anyway, new shocks going in. I like to hand start everything first. I'm going to put a little pressure on the bottom of the shock to get the next one up in there. I always tend to put a little bit of anti-seize. Try to line everything up by eye if you can. You'll see down through there. Once you get it started by hand, typically you can run the impact on it. Get it nice and tight, don't overdo it. And we'll start with the bottom, the 21 millimeter. was a little sticky going coming out because of the rust buildup. The bolt may sh maybe should have gotten replaced, but not a lot of people want to spend any real money for doing stuff like that. Um, and it is still usable and it'll work fine taking in and out a couple more times. The top bolt was in perfect shape. That's an 18 millimeter. Just give it a little bit so it stops spinning. Check the bottom one more time. With the swivel on there, it does reduce a lot of the torque that the gun puts out. Right now, I've got them torqued to about 65 foot-pounds with this gun. If you want to check them by hand after, it's not a bad idea. Um, again, our state requires a little bit of not having to fight the next time it comes out. So I like to put a little more anti-seize on. Not on the threads. Uh, when I go to put the wheel back on, the wheel does get hand torqued to 100 foot-pounds. And no more than that. Be careful. Sometimes these threads do need to, the threads get brittle over time from salt getting into. You may have to end up replacing some of those if you're not careful. So the wheel goes on like that. I did actually take one of the front tires and moved it to the back because it's due for a rotate. Put the better ones up on the front for now to get those more and more evenly. I always hand start all my, all my lug nuts, get a couple good threads started. Never just run them on with the gun. I do put this my gun on the lowest setting just to snug up the lug nuts and then I'll hand torque it after dropping it down. five-star pattern and always recheck them. Usually a good idea to check after driving for a few hundred miles or a hundred miles. At least to just check to make sure the torque's not coming off. And that is replacing the rear shocks on a Chevy HHR. If you guys have any questions you can always leave a message with me on uh, the forum for YouTube. Thanks and have a good one.